Sorry, Mimi was gonna run out. But hi, welcome to my humble abode. Usually it's not this messy. We got some garbage bags here because I'm cleaning some stuff out. But welcome. This is Offline TV house and my house and Mimi house. We have a really fancy staircase, I will admit. But it's kind of... It's not dirty at all. Uh, you come upstairs and you're greeted by the beautiful Scar. This is when I did his makeup, I think. And then Fed turned it into a, <laughs> into a picture and we hung it up here. And then um, this is kind of me and Fed's corner of the upstairs. And then over there is Scar's room. It says, uh, fuck in charge of you, fuck, fuck. This is Toast's room. This mirror isn't usually here. But today, Mimi, well, for the last three days, she's been like kind of clawing at the mirror. And today she just ran full force at it and it fell and then it completely broke. Thanks, Mimi. <laughs> this is Fed's room. A bunch of pictures. Um, yeah, nice buddy. I think he's like asleep. Even though it's 2 p.m. It's 2 p.m. Okay, I'm really lucky that I got the master room in this house. I've been living with Scar, this is like the third house. Usually he gets the masters, but I needed the closet space, okay? These boys have like 10 and a half shirts. I needed the closet space, which speaking of, let me show you my closet, come on in. I recently kind of tried to organize it a bit nicer than it usually is. So uh, yeah, we have like outerwear, shirts, dresses, jackets. What do they want to know? How many pairs of shoes do you think you want? Around 10 upstairs and then around 5 to 10 downstairs. Yeah. yeah. What's your favorite type of outfit to wear? Uh, Crop top, leggings. jeans, yep. leggings? No, no jeans. No this jeans. is fake. Just for, just for sure. Just for the video. I'm taking these off right after the video. <laughs> I keep like every lanyard I ever get from events here and I hope to maybe someday do something with them. This is the most recent one, the Pro Bowl one. Good memories, you know, good memories. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. I got a couple bags. Okay, listen, before like three or four months ago, I never spent a lot of money on stuff ever. But then recently I was like, you know what? There are some items, especially like little backpacks and stuff that I wear a lot. And sometimes you want to treat yourself, you know? I think it's good to splurge on things that you feel you will use a lot. Yeah. Exactly. I'll never just like buy one $500 shirt or something. It's always gonna be something that I'll use like very frequently. We have the bathroom. Wow. I do love my bathroom. I mean, I first came in, I was like, so excited to use the jacuzzi tub. It doesn't work. Yeah, it just doesn't work. My tub doesn't work. Fed's tub does work. Fed's shower doesn't work. My shower works. So if I want to take a bath, I have to go to his bathroom. If he wants to take a shower, he has to use my bathroom. Wow, wow. And then if you come in, it's fed stuff. Wow. <laughs> well. <laughs> So I do have Invisalign in, so I always have my Invisalign on the side here, and then like some older ones in here. Um, these are just a bunch of products that I use pretty regularly. This is where I go to the bathroom. Wow, cool. <laughs> Almost every toilet in the house has a bidet, which is awesome. Seat warmer, cleans your booty. I won't get into it, but they're great. And in case anybody uses my bathroom, I got a little, you know, sometimes. You need the... This is Mimi's litter box. Yeah, she just goes to the bathroom in the same place that I go to the bathroom. And I'm not gonna lie, sometimes in the morning, cause she sleeps with me, we'll wake up at the same time. We're just very in sync. Like you're really not bonding with your pet until you poop at the same time. I'm just being honest. Do you think other people go to the bathroom at the same time as their pets? No. Okay, anyways, come on over to this side. This is my actual room. We just redid um, the shelves. We sprinkled in some cute stuff as well as some, you know, Pokemon stuff. Gamer, by the way. And then my BFFL, Jian Jian. I own like a bazillion candles now. And they're all incredible. 
please, if you... What scent is it? This is vanilla. I am addicted to vanilla anything. Yeah. It's like my favorite scent. Um, we have my TV here, and below it is usually where Mimi eats. Um, I recently cleaned this. Usually I have like dry food and wet food for her. And then we just have some extra stuff. One bars. The best protein bars. And then we have the last shelf, which is honestly just more pretty looking stuff. I usually keep all my like wires and electronic stuff in here. Like I feel like I end up with so many little things like I wanna keep and use at some point. And I really like this quote, do well by doing good. And basically what that means to me is just like feeling like you are making a living by also having a positive influence somehow on the world or on other people. I am so cheesy and cringy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, and then this little corner, my God bless YouTube plaques. I feel kind of, I don't know, it feels kind of showy off to have them in your room, but like they're dope. What are you gonna do, throw them out? I feel like that's worse, you know? So I just have it in my little, my little corner. Um, some cat stuff for Mimi, miniature Mimi. <laughs> this is my setup, more or less. Um, I will go into every individual little piece for starters my chair. Um, this is a Herman and body chair. I really like the chair, but it's expensive. It's really worth it, you know, if like streaming or being on the computer 24 seven is your full-time job because it's very adjustable and that kind of thing is so important to me to have like 90 degree, 90 degree and to be like seated properly because I'm, I'm really on the PC all the time. Back problems are a real thing. There's a lot of great uh, hundreds, like $300 chairs. You definitely don't need one this expensive, but if it's, you know, like your job and you're worried about uh, the negative side effects of sitting too much, I think this is an awesome pick. And usually it doesn't have this cover on it. I put this on because Mimi scratches this instead of the actual chair beneath it now. So that's good, you little, oh my God, you little cutie. This is my footstool, cause I'm not tall. I'm like, I'm not short, but like I'm not tall. And sometimes a girl needs a footstool under the computer chair. That white box just has mics and stuff. And then we have my vibe in here, random other mics and wires. Some snacks for me, huh? You're doing so good, Mimi. This is the main thing that she uses, scratching post here, and those two toys she uses a ton. And then moving on to my actual -da -da setup, which I get a bazillion questions about, especially since I upgraded it pretty recently. I have two Alienware monitors. I really like them because they're 240 hertz. There is one major drawback, which is the fact that like they don't go up that high. Like this is as high as it goes. Um, and usually you want, you want your monitors to be like eyesight basically, but you also want your arms to be like perpendicular. I do prefer super long mouse pads, like the heck of long ones like this. So I can zoom, zoom and have everything on it together, including my keyboard. My hydro flask hydration is so, important <laughs> hydration is actually really important both for general health wellness being uh skin hair nails organ development tissue development and aim no meme hydration is very important for aim did you guys know that i bet you didn't they, they came for the room tour but now they're listening to dr pokey so i'm just i'm just trying to help yeah. the brothers out you know right mimi Right, Mimi? It's so important. <laughs> Pee together, drink together. This I'm so gross. I'm actually the worst, I'm sorry. I tried to organize things, but not clean it up too much so I could still show you guys what I genuinely just keep on my desk. Um, I usually have some powder, no meme. I keep like powder and an eyebrow pencil beside my monitor because I mean, when you're in front of like these two intense lights, which I will turn on in a second, show you, when you're in front of lights for so long, you need to powder up a little bit. Okay, so I just keep those on deck. I have my stream deck here. 
I have my compressor here, which is... I have a really big voice, so I need a big compressor for my big voice. <laughs> and then a little audio interface. I do use both of these. I use this mic and this Rode mic stand is by far the best one. There's a lot of them on Amazon and a lot of them are kind of cheaper and I've used them all, I promise you. This one is the best. This is my NZXT PC. Look at those lights. I love that they had my custom drawing and name. And of course the PC works great. I have these two lights that I use mainly. Mind you, I have, I've been streaming for five years. So this is like, this probably like the second setup tour that I've ever done and obviously the best one by far. I have gone through every type of setup. And these are dope because you turn them on like this, you can angle them however you please, and you can change the temperature. So that's what I use right now, as well as the intensity of the light. The reason I like this is because whenever I've used lighting in the past on stream, this is my secret, okay? This is my secret to always decent lighting. The secret is you never buy a light and face it towards you. you just you don't do this, okay? And I mean, it makes sense for most lights, you'd think, you set it up towards you, maybe from three different points, you look up all these lighting guides, blah, 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 stop. What you do is you just have it bounce off of the wall behind you. So although I love these lights and they work great, and this is what I use now, um, and they're really nice if you can afford them, you can use just about any light and all you have to do is bounce it off of the wall in front of you. It'll give you a really nice soft lighting effect. It doesn't look too harsh and it won't wash you out because especially if you use the webcam that like everybody uses when they stream, the Logitech one, you can get washed out very easily if you have a bright, bright light. So yeah, that's my tip. Oh yeah, this is the camera that I use. I recently upgraded to a DSLR. DSLRs kind of help with the whole lighting issue Webcams will wash you out very easily. DSLRs won't do that as much, which is awesome because I'm actually pale as shit because I never go out. This is my bed. I just got some new sheets and stuff. I love this so much. This is a picture of Mimi on a pillow. <laughs> on the real though, um, a viewer sent this to me as well, which I thought was hilarious. Like, thank you. Isn't she a cutie? And I've always wondered, like, whenever people come into my room and they see this, like, do they think that I'm a crazy cat lady who would, like, picture her cat on a pillow? But then I think to myself, I don't really, I don't, I don't think that's so bad. Like, why not put Mimi on a pillow? She's dope. Thoughts? Okay. If you walk into someone's room and you see this, what do you think? <laughs> I have a purple mattress, so it's so thick. It's so thick okay like it's like it's massive it has four layers of some kind of comfort purple stuff on the side here i keep my night my night stuff i have earplugs because it's always really loud in our house like really loud it's problematic why doesn't everybody use a sleeping mask if you've never used a sleeping mask, you're missing out. Especially if you have any form of light that comes through your windows. Um, I also have, this could be some BS placebo stuff, but it's like some, it's just deep sleep pillow spray. I spray it before I go to bed. It smells great. Makes me feel relaxed. Eight hours of incredible, impeccable, astonishing sleep. <laughs> what time do you try to get to sleep every night? Um, I use, okay, usually if I'm on a good schedule, I'll sleep between midnight and one. Lately, I've been sleeping at like 3 a.m. Not cute. So usually you'd be up at eight or nine then? No, disgusting. Wait, I oh. sleep until nine or 10. Okay. If I go to bed at a good time. So minimum eight hours. Oh yeah. I have a little sleeping stand, which has my Kindle, some makeup wipes. And then we'll continue the tour to this beautiful new table that we just set up. I don't know, like I'm like introducing a table. A lot of this is decoration, like everything down here. We got a lot of stuff from Etsy. I have some essential oils here and a diffuser here. These are my favorite things ever. These are from Etsy, look at how cute. I love them. And this, wow, just a random, really cute decoration, right? Show them what's behind. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. We just thought this looked really ugly, so we found a way to cover it up. 
Oh, also, um, atop my bed, we got some cute little art, his and hers, but it's just me. <laughs> and this is my vanity. This is uh, probably where I, well, I sit here just about every day in the morning after I wake up, do my morning stuff, and this is where I get ready. Eyebrow products, eyelash products, wow. I'm not a beauty influencer by any means, but I still get a decent amount of free stuff. And it's too much. And I just can't throw it away because then I feel really guilty. So it just piles up here. Um, a lot of the stuff that you can actually see up front are things that I use very regularly. Sprays, wow, ooh, hair stuff. Yeah, this is my vanity. I really, really like my vanity. Um, I really like that I set it up in a way that makes me happy, kind of, because it's the place where like I get ready and I kind of put myself into a good mood, look cute, feel cute, etc. We have this nice, very long set of drawers, and on top I have a little bit of a perfume collection. I just really like perfumes. I don't even know why. Just like the pretty bottles, the different scents. I'm I'm pretty into aromatherapy. I won't lie. Uh, and then a bit more products up here. And this just holds actually the most random stuff. Like my keys and pepper spray because you need to protect yourself, ladies and gents. If you're out there, spooky areas, it's late. All right, I'm always ready. What's that one line? What's that one? <laughs> no, I'm not actually gonna use it. I have a lot of journals because books and Pens and stuff making me happy. <laughs> More there. I don't know if I should open this. Um, scrunchies. Hair. More hair. <laughs> Invisalign so my teeth look cuter. And then yeah, just random stuff. <clears throat> um. Our other camera kind of died, so we're gonna use the vlogging camera for a bit. Oops. Ta da! I hope you guys enjoyed. And if there are any other videos that you wanna see me film, please let me know. Leave a like if you like these IRL chatty videos, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, check out everything down below, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Feel my pain When it comes to me and you are not the same This is so far from a game What you saying?